Live from the Greer School Studio, broadcasting worldwide, this is Greer TV. And this week's anchors are Ale Blanco and Arenza Alcoa. Good morning and welcome back to Greer TV. We are your hosts, Aranza. And Alec. This week we're sponsored by the AV Club. Did you see the Sally's caps they were, the hardware store was selling? No, they were all sold out. I tried to get one to in history, but Mr. Gunter totally called me. That reminds me, I voted him for most likely to eat that up. I wonder if he won. Well, we found out when Meg hosts the Greer Miss, Greer's very own teacher superlative award show. Hello everyone and welcome back to the long-awaited annual teacher superlatives. I'm your host Meg here to announce the winners of the 2023-2024 school year. Our first category is the funniest teacher. This teacher is known to spend more time cracking jokes than actually teaching. As you could have guessed, it's the one and only Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> The next category is the Greer School Fashionista. This teacher not only shows up to school with the best outfits, she's also as sweet as the candy jar in her room. The winner is Miss Craigo. The next category is Albert Einstein. Wait. That's not right. <laughs> the next category is the teacher that is most likely to spontaneously turn into Albert Einstein. And the winner is Mr. Marsoni. <laughs> the next category is the teacher who slays the house down. It's our one and only Miss Andre. The next category is the best dancer. It wouldn't be right if it wasn't one of our dance teachers. The winner is Daniel Bauer. Our next category is most likely to win the Oh, the best at soccer. <laughs> and you guessed it, it's our soccer coach, Miss Andre. <laughs> our next category is best hair. I wonder who's going to get this one. And the winner is... Mr. Llewellyn, is that right? He doesn't even have hair. <laughs> but we do have an owner we'll mention, Miss Kropchak. <laughs> Next up is most likely to be a secret agent. It is, in fact, our mysterious Mr. Barsodi. <laughs> For most likely to be royalty, we have Queen Piotti. The next category is most likely to make us smile. The winner is Miss Stangle. Next up is the loudest. which is, yet again, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> the next superlative is for the most school spirit, and the winner is... Miss Crego! Next up is most likely to low-key eat that up. Just like I'm gonna eat up that Mario Kart tournament. The winner is Mr. Gunter. The next award.
card is for life of the party. And the winner is... Lei? Wait, which one? Oh, oh, you don't know? Okay, um, it, I guess it's just Lang then. Our next category is the biggest drama queen. And the winner is... The one and only Mr. Packnick. up is the most likely to be mistaken as a student. And the winner is... Mystery Check! Wait, didn't she used to go here? Here it is. Next up is the best taste in music. And the winner is... Mr. Minnick, of course! Next up is probably won't give us weekend homework. And the winner is... Mr. Beckel! And the final award is most likely to win a rap battle. And the winner is... Miss Fruit Baker! mention is Ling. Again? Why does it only say Ling? I don't know which one it is. Like, are... Which one? This has been the 2023-2024 Teacher Superlatives. Wow. I did not see Mr. Gunther winning most likely to eat that up. Wait. Didn't you vote for him? Oh, yeah. Anyways, all this talk about eating has made me hungry. Well, let's see what we'll be having the cafeteria this week. Good morning, and welcome to this weekend's weather food forecast. I'm your mealologist, Solveig, and these are the meals for this weekend. For lunch today, there will be bolognese and stuffed shells, and there will be breakfast for dinner. Tomorrow, there will be German pancakes for brunch, and for dinner, there will be barbecue pork chops. On Sunday, there will be Mexican ham and cheese casserole, and for dinner, there will be buffalo chicken meatloaf. Have a great weekend! Thanks, Solveig. Happy birthday this week to... Ariana Froning, Anika Rene, Isabel Holschneider Lopez, Margareta Burke, and Mia Bissell. Today, author and editor of Hola. Plate Horse Magazine, Rene Dybel, will be presenting her books to the school. Seventh graders must attend at 1.30, and eighth graders must attend at 2.30. Anyone else who's interested, especially writers, are free to go to the library at 3.30 to check out her amazing books. This past weekend, the varsity research team traveled to Delaware Valley College to compete some finals. Our opera school team was champion, defeating the other teams 42 to 27. Congratulations to Taylor Allen, Dana Julian, Ahana Lucker, Marianne Polnell, Isabella Knobloch, Kelly Grismer, and Katie Rickard. Anley Allard, Nina Rhodes, Bally Lou, Zoe Carbon, Ella Daffern, Jimena Font, Ava Vives, and Vivian Vives for qualifying for nationals. Good job to all the riders who participated. I never realized how much work those shows can be. Yeah, I saw Gia running around the barn all weekend. Actually, I never see her anywhere else. Hey, and welcome to GTV Cribs. I'm your host, Nina, and let's check out the storm. Drop Hello, today I'm here with Gia and Megan. And today we are going to check out their awesome dorm. I've had the same decoration since last year. I never really um, moved on from my dinosaur comforter. So um, our roommates in here have quite a problem where they fight over their men up here. I actually started this interest and I believe that I kind of introduced Megan to a lot of these men, but she likes to claim them and say they're hers. Yep, um, honestly, I just picked the cutest one out of the group, so that's my boyfriend. Um, I have my favorite artist, Lana Del Rey, up there. She should have won the Grammy. She was robbed, honestly. Um, did you take that picture yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. It was, it was a really windy day, but, you know, we got it done. 
Beautiful. Would you like to tell us about this little guy? Um, that's there to you. What? <laughs> this is a mug that I made in hand building last year, and I think it's really, really cute. I keep this little sentimental picture of me and Megan. <laughs> so, would you like to tell me about this little guy here? He really just gives us motivation um, to keep going through the months. What's his name? A uh, Dave. Dave kept us going. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dave. I heard your bathroom is pretty sophisticated. Some would say it's sensational. Let's dive in. I personally think this bathroom is shrimply amazing, and those are my two favorite parts of this bathroom over there. Well, thank you guys for this wonderful room tour. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Come around anytime. <laughs> Wow, this is the first time I have ever seen any rider not in the barn. I thought they sleep there. After watching Katie and Taylor's senior segment, I was convinced they live there too. I wonder who the senior is for this week. I do rock band, I do musical theater, I'm in the musicals, uh, it's my second year at Greer, and uh, I'm usually here, this is usually where I am. What's your guitar's name? Oh, <laughs> this is Victoria. <laughs> TV presents This Week in Black History Month with Amen DeGene. Katherine Johnson was born on August 26, 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Her intelligence and skill with numbers became apparent when she was a child. By the time she was 10 years old, she had already started high school. At the age of 18, she graduated with the highest honors from West Virginia State College. She was one of the first three African-American students to enroll in a graduate program at West Virginia University. Although she was rejected when she first applied, in 1953 she began working at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics in the West Air Computing Unit. She worked with a group of African American women who manually performed complex mathematical calculations for the program's engineers. The women, known as the West Computers, analyzed data and provided mathematical computations that were essential to the success of the early U.S. space program. During this time, the NACEA was segregated and the West Computers had to use separate bathrooms and dining facilities. The NACA later became NASA. She was also part of the team that calculated where and when to launch the rocket Apollo 11 mission of 1969, which sent the first three men to the moon. She later worked on the space shuttle program. She retired from NASA in 1986. All her hard work has led to her receiving many distinct recognitions, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She's received a spacecraft and a building dedicated to her at NASA, and there has been a movie made about her that is called Hidden Figures, which is based on her autobiography named my Remarkable Journey, which was released after her death. She has also received an honorary PhD from the West Virginia University 75 years after she left. Wait, before we end, everyone remember to drop their Easter for Eli donations off at Mrs. Hallahan's office before Monday. You can earn community service hours for each item donated. Oh wow, look at the time. I'm going to be late for my first period. This, this is Greer TV, TV signing off. off. See, See you, you next, next week. week.